Hey there everybody, this is a doctor here with Typical Manga Fan and today on the Typical Manga Review we're going to be going over Attack on Titan Chapter 69 um, I don't know what they actually... What, yeah, uh, Friends. Sorry, I had the wrong page up there for a moment. And we actually open up with a flashback on Kenny Ackerman. He's actually being held in the hands of a Titan, which is actually the previous king, uh, Uri. Actually, we don't. We opened up on the page of Historia telling the world that uh, okay. she is the, the true ruler of the walls. Well, yeah, that, that was kind of like a recap. Page, cause it says the story until yeah, now. Yeah. But, okay. yeah, like the actual story proper starts with Kenny and the Titan arm holding him. It's, it's Uri. Is it Uri yeah. or Uri? Uri. But basically, like, he's determined to kill him, and they know that they can't mind control him like they can everybody else because he's an Ackerman. But yeah. something about the king here, like Uri, he's like... Um, Let's him go, yeah. Yeah, like he's willing to forgive and spare him. He even, like, gets down on his knees to forgive him for not being able to create paradise within the walls. Oh, come on. Now we're supposed to feel bad for this... Now we're supposed to feel, like, sympathized with the, this king guy? Oh, well, come on. He's... maybe not the king, but at least with Yuri. Well, I mean, he's the king now, though. Hmm. He, he is essentially the king. Yeah, it's a tricky... Right? Like I said, there's, we don't know this, all the details here, so there is something tricky about that. Um... And then apparently, like, the person who's, who ratted the king out to um, Kenny is, is gone, but now Kenny's there as kind of the guy's right-hand man. Yeah. And he goes to find his sister, who is unfortunately dead. And it's really disgusting, like, really, really terrible sight that, of yeah, you know, her. Like, it's just really, really weird. Given that she was a prostitute, we can probably imagine what kind of illness. But yeah. we, we also see a kid in there which is, um, who only knows himself as Levy. Yeah, Levi, and um, and he's obviously malnutritioned. Uh, he has yeah. like he, you could, it's just really bad. He's ready. And then, and Kenny introduces himself as Kenny, just Kenny. Yeah. So um, you know, she doesn't tell he doesn't tell Levi that his sister, um, like of their connection, full yeah, connection. Yeah. That, that, yeah. That that, that 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 it's basically his sister, and therefore Levi's his nephew. But he doesn't tell him yeah. that. Yeah. And, and he. It took care of them, teach them how to use a knife and how to, you know, handle with people, handle people. Yeah. Taught them the skills to survive, basically. Yeah. And pretty much left it at that. There, Kenny, he, he was, um, he did, he he wasn't heartless enough to just leave him alone, but he didn't have a big enough part to actually raise him completely either. Yeah. And then, so Kenny's after that, Kenny's basically hanging around with the people who are like associated with the king, mm -hmm. and it's it's shown that you know he is different than the rest because everyone's just like loved the king, but Kenny's just like no, he it's because he bowed down to me and because he's the very strongest is why I support him. Mm -hmm. And right now, being the most important person it, it means being the most powerful. And he sees <laughs> you know Levi beating someone up, and that's actually when he leaves Levi for good. Right, because uh, he can take care of himself now. He doesn't yeah. need Kenny anymore. Yeah, and he says you know now you won't go the way my little sister did. Um, and you know, goodbye. Yep. And then they go, and it goes to the scene where they, you know, him, and the first king, are talking about, you know, he, the guy's getting older, and he's gonna pass on his, uh, his memories with, um, to Frida. Frida, to Frida, and it's, he, the way he says, "I will live on within the memories." I think that's talking to Rothschild. I think he's talking, he's talking more from being the king than he is from Uri's perspective now. Yeah. I think, I think him, the king, have the king has assimilated Uri. I think. Um. Mm. Anyway. Uh. You know, and then they talk about you know what's paradise. You know, I want to build a paradise. Blah 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 blah. You know, do you think we could become friends? Mm -hmm. You know, and they they just basically have a lot of talking. Um, yep. And then um, we kind of go from there. We see Frida taking over the power of the king, and Kenny notes that she spoke said the same kind of sermons and things that um, Yuri did. And yep. he and he wonders like how they can keep talking about stuff like that. Like how much. Like, is it because you have so much power it gives you freedom? Like, would we all act the same? Way? Would we all act the same way if only we had that kind of power? Yeah. Which kind of marks it, like why he wants to get that power later, I assume. Yeah. It's. I mean, it's always easy to be on, you know, on, on the top of the pedestal and say, "Hey, this should be the way it works." But it's, you know, it's different than when you're actually down on the ground and you know you're suffering yep. too. Yep. It's true though. Like, you see, this guy talks about paradise, mm -hmm. but he's not helping the world any, you know, in any way. <laughs> He's persecuting the Ackermans, and yeah, he lets he lets Kenny go, but like, well, you know, that doesn't change everything. You yep. know, that doesn't forgive him for his sins. And then Kenny goes and talks to the anti-personnel 3D Marine Gear Squad, yep. and he talks to them. He basically tells them that you know he used to kill them for a living. Yeah, and he he actually says, and this one girl who we remember in uh, when they fought against you know our Aaron's and Levi's team, mm -hmm. and she's like, it's all meaningless. And he starts smiling and says, uh, "We're not. We're actually. We're only anti-Soviet corps in, the, in name only. It's just an excuse. Yeah. You know, it was all for the sake of a great. In, in reality, it's all for the sake of a great dream. And yep. so he trains them. And you know, we, we get some flashbacks to even when he was killing the the, the newspaper guy. What's yep. his name? Um, yeah, um, Reeves, I think it was. Yeah. Um, and then you know, we get some flashbacks to when he, you know, he Aaron Aaron was uh, 
fighting with the, well Aaron transformed or when yep. the King Titan the King Titan transformed. I forgot either one. I don't yeah, know. and we pretty much see like everyone else got crushed in the rubble there basically. Yeah. But yeah. um he Kenny did make it out alive. Like we see him um leaning against the tree injured when Levy and another one come up to him. Yeah. Um and but he's really badly hurt. It gets yeah. burned in like all the place. And yeah, so and Le- Levy notes this. Like he's pretty much like a dead man at this point. He's like all that blood loss, he's he's too badly injured. But Kenny does have a Titan syringe. Yep, but he, you know, the, uh, Levi points out that you know if he if he if he could have used it, you know he would have used it long before now. Um, and also <laughs> the fact that he and Kenny notes that he uh, he'll become a mindless Titan and all, it'll, it'll just be for extending his life, and yet he didn't do it. Right. Um, and uh, you know, so she asks you, you wouldn't just sit around waiting to die, don't you have a better excuse? Mm-hmm. And then Kenny basically says he wanted says he wanted power so he can understand the way Uri uh, thought. Yep. And you know, he's like everyone I've seen has been like that, whether it be you know alcohol or woman or even God, uh, family, king, dreams, children, power. Yep. They he all couldn't life, go. Yeah. They all couldn't go on unless they were drunk on something, and for Kenny yeah. it was power. Yeah, everyone was a slave, even him. Specifically, he's referring to Uri. Yeah. Um, and he's like, and he, he says, "You, where are you, a hero?" And he's like spasming with blood all over the, you know, uh, the ground, uh, spitting up blood um, mm-hmm. everywhere. And he basically says, you know, okay, Le- Le- Levi basically asks Kenny, "Why does the first king want? Uh, why doesn't the first king want humanity to survive?" Mm-hmm. And he's like, "I don't know. That's the reason why we Akemans oppose him." And, and then Levi says, "My surname is also Akeman, isn't it?" Just, just what are you? Uh, what are you to my mother? Which shows that, as it turns out, Levi didn't know he was an Akeman the entire time. Nope. And this is gonna, that means they're going to be a very interesting conversation between him and Mikasa later. Yeah, they're they're, pro- they're like cousins, I think. Because she, well, she was still, a fam- I mean, I, as far as Mikasa knows, there probably wasn't any other Akemans left besides her, and she doesn't know the history either. Yeah. So she probably was like, "Holy shit, we're a bunch of killers." <laughs> yeah. And then um, at this point, like Kenny gives him the gives Levi this Levi the syringe. Um, he oh, dies. And, and, oh. And he re- oh, and he reveals to her that, you know, I'm he just was... her brother. I mean, to oh, yeah. That... That's right. Kenny was his uncle. That's right. He did reveal that. Yeah. Um, and he, he, Levi wondered why he left, but Kenny's pretty much like, couldn't, I can't be someone's parent. So he gives the strings to Levi and dies, pretty much. And then we, from there, we go to Queen Historia's coronation. Yeah, it's all it's all formal. Everyone's cheering, and I'm just like, yeah. I'm one, yawning. One thing I do note here is like, the people are talking about how she defeated the tight the King Titan, and yeah. she's thinking to herself like, we look back earlier, she actually asked to be given credit for the kill, so she's yeah. as surprised as anybody that she's actually the one who did it. Yeah, I would have been pissed off had it been someone else because then they would just look bad. But well, I, I, I I understand why you ask for it, and I get it from a, from an actual like when when you step back from a large pic, larger picture picture perspective. Yeah, but it's just like wow, you know, don't steal someone's yeah. credit. You play, you don't plagiarize. Well, I'm, that's why I'm that's why I'm glad that she actually does do it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then as they're kind of leaving here, like we historians remembering back to um the president of the Reeves Company, the one we saw in being killed in flashback earlier. It's like telling me once you become queen, smack him and tell him this. I dare you to hit me back. And she pretty much does that. She walks right up to Levy, punches him in the arm, and says. How now? What? I'm your queen. Got a problem, huh? <laughs> I love on, that. She honestly <laughs> believes that she can hurt Levi. I don't. I don't cheating. think she cared about hurting him. I was just like, what's he gonna do, punk? Huh? Huh? Gonna hurt your queen? <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that she retains her. Because I'm not gonna lie, the for, the formality of when she got crowned, I'm like, I'm like, uh, that was the boring part. I was like, I was like, uh, it's so formal. I well, hope she isn't gonna be like. I, I know, but I'm just saying, like, I hope she's not gonna be like that, you know, like, oh, I'm the queen now. Listen to what I say. But now I'm, I'm glad that she actually maintained yeah. some personality. In fact, even more personality than she's ever had. Because there's no way that there's no way the Krista would have done this, you know. Nah, I mean that's usually my favorite part in this whole chapter, to be honest. I just just, yeah. just to look on her face too, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and then and then and then Levi gets like, the most surprising response, like, "You guys, thank you." Like he's he finds it funny. Right. And that's been our review of Attack on Titan, chapter sixty-three, Friends. And like I said, at this point, like I said, I that last part of there is my easily my favorite part of the chapter. And I'm wondering what we'll see now. Like that we've. Yeah, the situation now is with Historia seems to be pretty well yeah. resolved for the moment. The yeah. only other thing left, I think, would be immediate aftermath. Like, how she'll act as a ruler, how she'll get along with her advisors and such. Yeah, I, I just hope she won't be as stuck up. And I, and I said this before, I'm glad that she actually did do the, pull, the, the killing blow herself. Because yeah. I, I, I know, I get why she would do that. And I agree that on, in, a, in a broader scale of, of, specific, of a specific perspective, uh, it makes sense. It's just that I hate plagiarism. I hate plagiarism well, as a, just as a moral. This wasn't necessarily plagiarism, but I, I mean, it's, it's like, it's well, still taking the credit, though. 
Yeah, it's, that's, that's plagiarism. I think it's only yeah. when it comes to literature that it's plagiarism or art. Well, the, the, it, stealing the credit, taking the credit, whatever. It's I, same thing, same concept. Pulling a Mr. I don't, Satan. I, yeah, I, I don't like it. I, it's been done in anime before, and it's I always Satan. hate it. Yeah, I, I always hate it when it's done in anime or manga. Yeah. But I'm glad. That's why I'm glad that she actually does yeah. do it, so we don't have to have to have that issue. Yeah, you know? and I like the fact that even she's like, I, I'm, I, I'm just as surprised as anybody that I'm the one who took it down in the end. Yeah. Yeah, but I said I think at this point our next big thing is going to probably be the either the Ackermans or like you kind of said like like off the record there like the Ape Titan or something like that, or or the Titan yeah. Shifters as well. They yeah, uh, the time, yeah, the time, yeah, because especially with Ymir, but uh, the, yeah, the Titan Shifters and the Ape Titan are currently the the, the big end, the, the only the remaining enemies. Um, also, and how do we get Aaron's powers to surface? You know, is he is it possible that he can tap into that power? Because something tells me that the first King's will isn't done yet. I think there's something mm -hmm. more. And I think yeah. he'll try to figure out the memories. I think Aaron will try to figure that out too. Yeah, he might. He might. He might be able to unlock something that um, it's possible because he's not part of the Rice Bloodline. Maybe he can unlock the memories, but not necessarily get taken over. Yeah, um, or something. I don't know. It, it was just weird to see the king be like, "Oh, I'm so I, I want paradise." Blah, blah. Look, you could. He could say all this bullshit, and he could be like the way he acted in this mo in this chapter. Mm -hmm. But the way I see it, his actions speak louder than words. And his yeah. actions have been despicable. Yeah, of course, there could be something else that we're not seeing. Like I said, there's a whole big backstory involving the Titans that we don't know about yet. So, like I said, that's going to be one of those time will tell details. We can only guess at that point. And, uh, and of course, we maybe we'll have some of the Levi Mikasa thing, but yeah. I don't. I don't. I think we should make too much of a big uh, of a deal out a big deal out well, of that because it's like there's eh. there's at least got to be a conversation between the two of them because I think they're I, I now think the only family that the other has. Literally. I think I think it's less. I mean, you think honestly, you think that. Those two are going to be like all happy, happy together. I mean, well, no, not no really. but at the very least, I would, I would think there'd be a conversation to at least acknowledge the connection. I think they acknowledge it by like, like, giving like a nod. I think that's how they do it. Yeah, <laughs> They'll they give mean, a nod, like yeah, they're we, both we, the we, type. <laughs> like, like kind of like uh, like I'll, I won't say who, but in Kill a Kill, you know, like nod yeah. or, or you know, I know you. Uh, mean. Yeah, so like I mean, in terms of that, uh, yeah, I think it'll be more about what the Aikman, the family as a whole, is specifically special about them. I think yeah. that's what they'll try to figure out. Yeah, I'd like say that's. I imagine that's going to be our next big mystery, the way it's being set up right now. Yeah. Yep. But in the meantime, though, um, that's going to be for next chapter. For now, this has been our comp chapter and review of um, chapter 69 of Attack on Titan. Friends, go ahead and take us away. Bye.